Hello Procrast Creators and welcome back. So today we're going to take a few moments to learn how to do a tag. I don't know about you, but I have these tumblers and things that I'm making and I want to put a little tag on them to tell them how to care for it and like how do I do that? Do I write it? You know, well now I'm going to use some of these tags that I keep buying at the local craft store and we're going to use them and we're going to make some tags of our own and this is something that you can do and with your Cricut you can even cut out the tag but this is you know we're going to learn how to use these pre-made tags today so before we do that please like subscribe hit that bell um thank you for watching i like to say that a lot of times doing here because i really appreciate you guys um also take a look at what's in the description box those links help me as a channel um and you know they put a little a little bit of money in my pocket um and then they help you get the things that you need to do this project and possibly do some other so okay now that i've said all that let's get started okay so the first thing that i did was actually pull the design into my cricut design space um and i'll give you guys a better view of this but um what i need you to know about this um is that um i'm using just text if you want me to show you um this process from the beginning where i actually designed the text and then put it onto the tag let me know let me know in the comments below um right now i'm just showing hoping you already have a design and then I'm just telling you what I did with my design so the first thing that I did was measure how much actual space I had for the text so of course I'm not going to put it here where this glitter is so in this space I had about a little over a two and a half by two inch little um, rectangle I guess um, here so um, that so I needed to know that in order to size my text um, the way that it needed to be sized so that it can fit onto the tag makes sense um, so from there I hit make it and then what I did was just made sure that these were spaced out on um, my computer and on the mat the way that I needed it to be and I'm trying so um so so again what I did was just make sure that they were spaced out on the mat so I have one tag here I have one tag here I have one tag here and then I made sure I placed those tags in that exact spot on my um mat so now that I have them so you can see I have one space where it's hitting the one it's hitting the three and it's hitting the six so I space those the same way on the mat on the screen so now that I have done that I can hit continue and then we're gonna go ahead and print these things out so let's get to that part so the first thing that it's gonna ask for is of course um, what kind of material you have on the mat and I'm just gonna pick a cardstock since this is a cardstock type material um, from there I am going to because everything is drawing it's not gonna try to cut anything anyway so you don't really have to worry about that um, but from there the next thing that I have to do it's asking me to load the mat in and it's going to want me to load in the ink that I would like to use and right now it's telling me that it's going to um it's going to want me to load the black pen so that is what I'm going to do first is load my black pen da -na -na -na. and then um it'll go in and do everything that's black so let me see if I can move this for you just so you can see the loading of the pen. Let's see if I can. There we go. So kind of got a corner view, but so it's an arrow on the pen and you're just going to stick that down into 
that adapter that holds your pin and then you're just gonna lock that close. Once you do that, you can hit the button that pulls, the arrow button that pulls it in and then it's going to get to work once you hit the Cricut button. So, let me pull that back out so you can see that process. And as you can see, the pen is moving, so it is starting to write on that particular mat. So I'm going to let it do that. And once it gets one all the way done, I may show you it or may just show you it all at the end. Okay, so. You know, I'm working with a new camera. I told y'all I got one for y'all so that I can y'all can see things clearer. And now I have to remember to cut my mic on, which I did not. So I am just gonna show you the tag here. Look at that, so beautiful. So um, this is a great way to give people care instructions, to give people um, a nice little thank you um, with tags that you already have at home that just may be blank and sitting around. So I hope this video was helpful. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell, check out those links in the description below. Maybe something there that can help you, which in turn has helped this channel. So thank you again, and I'll see you all the next time.